is our second day exploring Athens and there's a lot more that we want to see, like the Panathenaic Stadium and the Agora. First we're heading over to a fresh food market right in the centre of the city. We've arrived at the Varvakios Central Municipal Market. It is the main food market in the centre of Athens. There's loads of different sections for things like meat, fish, herbs, spices, what else is there? And fruit and veg. <laughs> so we're going to take a look around and see what we can find. The market's named after a Greek hero who was a pirate. Pretty interesting that they named the market after a pirate out of all people, but we're going to go with it. selling whole sheep's heads here. It reminds us of when we had a sheep's head in Tirana in Albania. It was an interesting experience. It is quite an intense smell first thing in the morning, I'll be honest. <laughs> One of the fishmongers thought we were Italian and he just kept saying random Italian words to us, like Italiano, macaroni. Uh. Pomodoro. <laughs> Izzy is actually part Italian, but I have no idea why he thought somebody with my skin complexion and hair colour would be Italian. <laughs> We've just come out of the market and that was a very hectic experience but also everybody in there was super friendly. We're feeling pretty hungry after seeing all that food so we're going to go grab something to eat. We've come to a neighbourhood called Pissiri or Siri. I'm not sure if the P is silent but anyway it's right next to the market and apparently there are loads of cafes here that do really good cheap food. We found a cute cafe on a side street and the food looks really good. Mm. Does it taste good? It tastes as good as it looks. Uh, two. Ten euro please. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've come to the ancient Agora of Athens, which is located under the northwest slope of the Acropolis which is somewhere up there. <laughs> Tickets are five euros each because we're here in the winter. In the summer, they're 10 euros. The Agora was the heart of ancient Athens. It was a place where people could meet up, bond, and discuss the issues of the day, as well as more frivolous topics. Seriously though, it was the place where all political decisions were decided, and Agora actually translates in the ancient Greek to a meeting place. It was basically the birthplace of modern democracy, which is pretty interesting. I think we found an ancient Greek toilet. How big were their butts? <laughs> I don't think that's a toilet. Oh, it looks like a toilet. Dale, look behind you. Can you see it? 
I'm a tortoise! I love tortoises. Wait, is it a tortoise or a turtle? Which one's the wet one? <laughs> Turtle's the wet one. So it's a tortoise? Yeah, it's a tortoise. Hey buddy! I'm really enjoying the Agora so far. It's really different to the Acropolis. That was really busy and very strict. You had to walk down this path at this time and then do this, etc. But this, you can just kind of amble around the ruins and see whatever you want and just kind of clamber all over them. The Acropolis was more impressive, but this is more my kind of ancient ruin site because I love being able to kind of get in and around them and clamber all over them. It's also a huge site. I did not realise how big it was. After wandering around the ancient Agora for a bit, our last stop of the day is the Panathenaic Stadium. It looks really impressive, so we're going to take a look. Thank you. Just like at the Agora, the tickets were five euros per person. Before we head into the Panathenaic Stadium, I just wanted to address quickly the fact that the level of warmth and kindness that we've received since arriving in Greece has been nothing short of amazing. All of the locals here, ever since we arrived, have been so incredibly kind. And it's just really refreshing in this day and age to receive that kind of welcome. Another bit of thoughts with Dale. Wait! Joking! <laughs> Wait for me! Wait! I'm not gonna run, I'm too tired! Here we are! Izzy has very reluctantly agreed to a race, so... <laughs> Ready? Set? Go! As I predicted, Izzy started and then stopped running. I'm very tired today, I don't want to race. Sorry! I'll take the victory. I'll be honest, I feel very embarrassed that we just walked up the stairs at Olympic Stadium and I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> we do walk like 15 to 20,000 steps every day though, don't we? That's true. It's a lot of steps. The stadium was rebuilt in 1896 for the first modern Olympic Games, but did you know that the original Olympic Games were never actually held here? Lycorgus actually created the stadium in 330 BCE for an athletic competition called the Great Panathenaea Festivities. This stadium is impressive. In fact, Athens is a very impressive city. It really has properly exceeded our very high expectations so far. We do still have a few more days here, so we've got a couple more things planned, like a food tour and hopefully heading over to an island. But for now, we're ending the vlog, so we'll see you soon. Something Izzy experiences daily. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Rah! That's like the fourth time. Stop it. Grr. Did you know that the original Olympic Games were never actually held here? No, I didn't. Oh, well. I mean, I did because I just told you that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy was the one who told me. <laughs>